Good morning to some of you, good afternoon, and good night to others. Tony Horton here, and uh, we're going to do some yoga this morning. Yeah, because that's what we do. All right, so here we go. I'm going to drink my little morning beverage in front of you. Mm hmm. I were rearranging dogs at this time, getting them in the right place. <clears throat> so, how's everybody doing? Michael's watching. Terry, of course, is watching. Michelle is watching. And uh, good morning, Michael. Good to see you. Hearts. Love the hearts. Good afternoon from New York. New York. New York's coming around the mountain, man. Coming around the mountain. Getting better. Healing up. Good afternoon from Jersey. Also, another location that's getting better. Flattening that curve. Going down the other side. Mm-mm-mm. Good afternoon, Michelle. And then, uh, hi, Terry. How are you? And Wendy. And the numbers are growing in here. Stephen or Stefan. I'm not sure. Good morning. Carmen, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Or Graham. Ah, Mrs. Horton. Oh, cute outfit. You wait till you see Mrs. Oh, Horton's nice. outfit. Um, Justin and Joshua. Good morning from Louisiana. Love it all the way from Louisiana. Good morning, Lauren. Michael. Graham. Mm, mm, mm. Wendy from Tennessee. Thank you very much. I love hearing where you guys are from. Two workouts done. Why not two? Kenneth. God, don't overtrain. I don't want you to get hurt. Lansing, Michigan. Rhode Island. Yes, the ocean state, the home state. How are you, Robin? Good morning this morning. What's the weather like there in Rhodey? Row, row, Rhodey. Hello from Florida. From Rhode Island to Florida, Minnesota. From the UK, Bridget, lovely, thank you for being here. Italy, oh man, Northern Italy. Hopefully you guys are doing better. I know it was tough up there for a while. Dan is here, of course, and Kristen. Good afternoon, Kristen. New Jersey, Scott, how are you? Jeff from Ohio, lovely from Philly. Hey, Philly over here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, love Philly, Joe. Terry is watching, of course, Terry is here. Another Jamie from Jersey. Iram. I, 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 Irma, sorry, Irma from Indiana. Joe Bavino, hey you guys, Joe Bavino's in here, my twin. Where the hell's Bobby? No one could tell us apart, even though we don't look anything alike, but you, you get the point. Good to see you, Joe. Ah, Tom Ruderman, oh Tom, Tom just came off of a mountaintop. He's probably, he probably got up at like three in the morning, climbed the largest hill in New England and Ran back down. Now he's going to do some yoga with his pal Tony from high school. That's right. Ed James. Big Ed, how are you? Is that a picture of you and me, Ed? It looks like it is. Sebastian. My cousin, Tom Lindley. Tom, are you going to be all right, man? Are you going to be able to hand this yoga this morning, my friend? My cousins are here. Do we have any Swensons this morning? I wonder. Yeah. Joe Bavino, what's up, my man? How are you, dude? Hey, you know what? I'm living the big dream. You know, life is not so bad. Christy. From Texas, P90X 60 days, yeah, baby. Sean, how are you? Danielle, Matt, Christian. Um, is that EC, first name EC? I don't know how to pronounce that, EC. How do you pronounce EC, you think? EC, maybe. EC, just EC. And Shane, good morning, Shane. How are you, Linda? All right, well, we should start. We got 300 plus in here, and uh, you know what, you guys? I had a thought about today. And I had a very interesting three hour Zoom call last night with my acting coach from the 80s and 90s. I haven't seen or spoken to him in 25 plus years. So it's really a great reunion and uh, learned a lot from him back in the day. My goofy personality is probably a result of my time spent with him. Um, Daryl Hickman is his name. He's uh, had a huge influence on me. People say, who's your mentor? Well, it was Daryl Hickman changed my life. So. He just gave me the freedom to be me, you know what I mean? That was, which, which, which is pretty cool. And so it was a very emotional and uh, phenomenal Zoom call. And, you know, his whole thing was about living moment to moment, right? And so, you know, I had never heard that term. We always say, you know, be present, you know, live in the moment, but live moment to moment. You know, I always say the past is history, the future is mystery, all we have is now. I didn't really say that well. The past is history, the future is a mystery. So for today's yoga practice, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to live moment to moment. 
So I don't, perfectionism and, you know, making all the poses or asanas look pretty. You know, I mean, I'm going to try to do a nice job here, but I'm not going to kill myself to make everything look perfect, right? So if you at home want to be moment to moment, like actually present the nanosecond to nanosecond, and if your yoga is sloppy in the process, <laughs> woohoo, who cares, all right? If you feel like, yeah, I'm, I'm in the moment, but I'm also really killing this thing, well, then that's good too, all right? So Lighthouse Point in Florida. So that's my plan, and I'm feeling pretty good about it, and let's get this show on the road. I'm gonna finish my beverage, and then we're gonna rock, okay? I'm gonna turn some music on, so I might, I might lose you for a second, so I apologize. Let's see here now. Did I go away? Did I stay there the whole time? You guys hear that? How's that volume? Yes. Little Beatles to start. Oh. So this is our rock yoga. Uh, all right, well, it's 11.07. I guess I gotta stop yip-yapping and start getting after it. Here we go. You got a tinker? Well, you're going for calories, huh? You got the thing? Don't you look lovely? I love that color scheme, Mrs. H. Thanks. Mm. My world without color. It's time for bed. Thank mm. you. Bless you. I thought, oh, man, I, thought you gonna, I thought you were going to explode. Oh. Should I go lower on the volume, do you think? Maybe yeah, right. You guys, I might lose you again. I'm going to just go a hair I'm lower. Do you don't have to do it from oh, can you Everything do it from yours? From Gorgeous! Just a teeny tiny, tiny, teeny tiny. It is Sean, it is Tony. We are standing at the front of our mats. Moment to moment, that's kind of exciting and scary and hard to do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there's a worldwide pandemic. Let me live in the moment. Yeah, okay. Uh, what uh -oh. Katie says the audio isn't working. No audio. Is that true for everyone? Oh wow, let me see. Audio, just his legs. Audio is cutting out. Is it completely out or is it? Oh, it's, it's basically a terrible connection that we have. Oh, lost you, but I'm back now. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Listen, you guys can hear me? I was trying to tell him in the chat. <laughs> Thumbs up? No, it's fine. It's fine. I see. No, can hear fine. All right, boys and girls. You know, maybe Facebook didn't like my playlist and they were messing with it. They go, oh, we don't want you playing that, that music. You gotta pay for that music. Well, I don't know, maybe that's the case, we'll see. Maybe they'll have a sense of humor and just put everything down and start doing some yoga with us. That would be nice. Hey, everybody at Facebook, come on, join us. It's awesome, it's fun, you'll feel better. All right, here we go. Okay, I think I'm, am I on screen, should I? Huh? Uh, why don't you move to the right, you're right, an inch, and I'll go an inch. Ooh. Da, 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 da. <clears throat> Thought I had that all worked out. All right, everybody, moment to moment. Let's all breathe, see what happens, and then in about an hour, 10 minutes, it'll be Awesome Town, all right? Have you been to Awesome Town? Incredible place, everything there is, Really great. 
Mountain pose, hands by your side, standing up super tall, crown of the head here, tilt the pelvis forward a little bit, right? So relax the shoulders and breathe, moment to moment. Chat. All right, you guys, stand up really tall. Let's roll the head side to side. And I want you to go slow enough here so that you feel it. All right, if you go too quickly, the muscles and tendons and whatnot don't really have time to stretch out. So take those breaths. Of course, always, always, always. You know, in my, in my Zoom call last night, Daryl was talking to these actors. There was 50 people in this thing. Everybody was holding the breath. You know what I mean? And so the drill is here. When in doubt, take a breath. Yeah, it's just the ultimate tension releaser. So notice if your teeth are together, if you're making funny faces, grimacing and furrowing of the brow and grimacing and all these things. You just want to eliminate that especially in yoga. That's for weightlifting, you know what I mean? Sagi, Sagi's a huge fan of the grimacing. You know what I mean? Like, oh, attack. We're not attacking here. We're just rolling. If you want to roll the head back, be careful. That's dangerous for some people, not everybody. But today I feel as if I can do that, so I'm gonna do it. Oh, oh my God. How are you doing there, Mrs. H? I'm jacked up. Are you jacked? <laughs> Dang, man, make it sloppy today then. You're allowed to make it sloppy, people. Breaks, child's pose, all that stuff. Let's bring the head up and roll the shoulders now. <sighs> yeah, good. And let's go the other way. Good, good. Palms together, bring the points of the shoulder together. Now punch it out forward. <sighs> you know, you can do all this stuff really gently. You know what I mean? It's not like, let's go for the maximum stretch and jab, right? All that stuff. Just mellow. Make it mellow. So I'm going to bring my palms together in the back, straighten my arms, pull it away. <sighs> Release, shake that out. Step just outside of your mat, everyone, so that the inside part of your foot is parallel to the mat. Inhale, pull those arms up. Reach up, thumbs back. Pinkies up and arch back. Gently, gently, gently today. Good, and then now drop the right hand down, left hand goes over. Oh, big old reach. You're trying to reach those fingertips with the ceiling and the wall. Meet, and if you can't, don't. Up, both arms, same thing here. Legs are straight, other side over. And then look up to your hand. And then you'll notice one side is different than the other. Like, what's up with that? That's not right. It just is. And then both arms up again. Good work. Bring the hands to prayer. Step the feet underneath your hips. <clears throat> Reach both arms up. Make the goal post with the arms. All right. So your forearms are parallel with the wall behind you. Okay, so you're not tilted or anything or cockeyed or so strange. All right. So spread the fingers here, spread them, and go back, back, back. Oh, we got that. Wow, you know, it's like a hurricane in here. You want it that high? And in the front. I'm going to be warm in two seconds. And in the back. I'm sweating. <laughs> you really ready? Right? <laughs> and forward. I'm sweating all the way. And back. COVID. You got the COVID. And forward. Don't say that. Me, Mr. Mustard Seeds. Me, Mr. Mustard Seed. Sleeps in the dark. Wait, go back, back, back. Together, hands in prayer. Both arms up. And now then hang all the way down. Actually, I want you to stop right halfway. So put your hands on your shins here, everybody. And I want you to wiggle your hips a little bit. See how my shoulders are moving? Oh, great. You can bend the knees here a little bit if you want to. I want you just to keep your hands here and just 
futz around. I want you to futz and futz. This is a hip thing. Bending the knees, straightening the legs, flattening the back. I don't want you down too low yet. I'm doing the support number here. Bringing my shoulders forward. Right leg is straight, left one is bent. Yeah, just like that. And then now, try to straighten the legs with the hands way up on the shins. Crown of the head toward me, mine is toward you. We're really trying to work on flattening this. And if you try to arch here, then you'll notice some action. I got action behind my knees, I got action in my bootay. Good, and then from here, bend your knees and then hang down. Bend, everybody bend their knees and hang. So we don't want to straighten legs just yet. All right, so now my rib cage and upper thighs are together. Feet are parallel, inside of my feet are parallel. And I'm looking at my knees, all right? We're gonna do the same thing three times. We're gonna inhale, flat back, hands on shins. Ready? Inhale, flat back, hands on shins. Again, push those legs back, all right? We're not putting a lot of pressure on the lower leg because our hands are way the heck up here, right? So flat back, crown of the head toward you, legs are straight, and here comes that collapse, bend the knees, hang down. Look, look right between your legs. So if your ribcage is on your thighs, you get a little support there, so don't be afraid to just bring those two together. I'm gonna to come up to that flat back thing again. All right, right there. Oh. Booty's going back, crown of head's going forward, back of the knees, I'm actually using my hands to straighten my legs as much as I can. And here's our last collapse and down. Very nice. Now from here, I want you guys drop your booty. Now some of your some of you guys, your heels are going to come off the ground, and you're going to go all the way down here, right like that. So if that's hard first thing in the morning, I understand. All right, not everybody can do this, with their, especially with their feet together. Right, so we're hanging out all the way down here. No, if you can't. If you, some, some of your toes are gonna go out like that. That's okay. All right, now, you ready? I'm gonna roll back. I'm gonna pull my knees into my chest. I'm gonna separate my knees and I'm gonna work on my hips. We usually do this at the end, but we're doing them at the beginning. This is, Orton is broken, everybody. So sloppy yoga. Sean is going to go sloppy today. Take breaks, child's pose. Broken We're yoga. going around. <laughs> Broken sloppy yoga. All right. Let's go the other way with those hips, everybody. Up the way with those hips. Yep. Mm. Yes, indeed. Around and around we go. Nice and mellow. All right. So another one that we do at the end. Turn your lower body into a chair. Arms go out to the side. I'm going to look to the right. Legs to the left. You don't have to do it. You can skip it. Just a little rock. And then come all the way up. You're going to love this part. It's going to get serious here for a second. If you can't do what I'm about to do, don't. I'm going to cross my legs. I'm going to lean forward. And I'm going to step back to plank. Oh, can you manage that one? Oh, simple peasy pie. Right to downward dog. Pedal those feet. Right one first. And left. You're trying to straighten your arms, but if you can't, don't. And then back to the right. Oh, hello. That's from running and jumping on the jump rope and running yesterday. And left. That is Tight Town. Tight Town is right next door to Awesome Town. And Tight Town is not nearly as cool as Awesome Town. And right. Oh, look how tight you are. What's happening? And left. Back to the right, everybody. I know we're starting out really slowly here, but you know, just trying to wake up. 
moment to moment. And now left, and now both heels as close to the ground as you can, arms as straight as you can get them. Trying to lower your upper body, shoulders, face, nose, chin, closer to the mat. Bend the knees, walk them in. Inhale halfway up. Exhale, hang all the way down. You can bend the knees here, roll up, ragdoll up, nice and slow, mellow, mellow. Got stuff on me. Okay. <sighs> wide feet, super wide on your mat, okay? So my feet are about my feet are about a foot outside of my mat. Inhale up. Exhale, hang down. So with your legs wider like this, it's probably much easier to get your hands closer to the floor, I'm assuming. All right, and then you're going to bend that right knee, a little side lunge. <laughs> you're going to make it? Good girl. All right, let's go other side. Side lunge over here. Yeah. And then let's go back, side lunge. And then runner's lunge, hands on either side of that front foot. So knees over the ankle, back leg is straightish. On the ball of the back foot, here they come. We're gonna straighten this leg. Come on up. Both legs are straight as you can get them. Dorsal flexing that front foot, toes to the sky, and then down. Just gonna do three today. Three the same way each time. Come on up. I'm not gonna overly complicate things. It makes life a little easier to be moment to moment, moment to moment, right? So, and then down. You guys always check in, guys and gals. One more time, come on up. Is your head a flutter? Are you thinking all types of things that are just getting in your way? Or are you using your breath to just stay present and then down? Good work, everyone. And now come up and over, side lunge to start on the other side. I hope you can see me and we're gonna turn. <clears throat> Knee over the ankle, back leg straight. On the ball of the back foot, knees over the ankle on the front side. Here come those three coming on up. Oh, that leg does not want to straighten like the other one. I'm gonna push it down, make it happen. And then down we go. Same thing. Make whatever adjustments with you that you can, front foot and back foot, to make sure that the knee is over the ankle when, you in, when you're in that runner's launch. Back leg is straight. That's number two. Here comes number three down. Now while you're here, you're not just hanging out, you're trying to drop your pelvis lower to the floor so you feel more. And then up, last one. And then rotate to center. Good job. Here we go, we're gonna step the hands onto the mat and then you're gonna step back to plank. And then you're gonna go to downward dog. In downward dog, do not raise your leg, just bring the leg up between your hands. Good. So you're on the ball of the back foot. You're gonna come on up, get your friend crescent pose. Arms up. So if I'm moment to moment here, and I'm trying not to think too much, then if I'm reaching and I'm dropping down, which you know we've done some weekends, today I'm just gonna be here. I'm gonna gently improve the quality. Whoa. Stoned, I'm stoned out of my mind. What happened there? Uh, hands to prayer, hands to the floor. Let's do our first vinyasa. There's your chaturanga, upward dog. I'm skipping the push up this time, downward dog. Do not raise the leg. I'm just going to bring the foot up, bring the shoulders over the wrist. Hopefully, this time I won't fall over for no apparent reason. Coming on up. Arms up. Mm. Sloppy yoga. In the moment yoga. Mellow yoga. Hands to prayer. Hands to the ground. Foot goes back. Chaturanga. Upward dog. No push up. Downward dog. Walk the feet into the hands. Inhale halfway. Exhale, hang down, bend the knees if you want to. You don't have to reverse that swan dive all the way up. Reach up, 
arch back, hands to prayer, step the left foot back, right foot forward, get your hips square here, so your legs aren't super far apart, all right? The back leg is only back far enough so that your hips stay square. If your foot goes way back, it's just harder to do that, right? So you want to be here, good, both legs are straight and strong, reach up, exhale, hang over that front right leg. Oh. Mm. So this is another pose where you just have to breathe and be in the moment and feel what this feels like. And there's a strong tendency to want to straighten that front leg, to try to work at not doing that while also being moment to moment. Take the tension out of your neck, drop the crown of your head toward your toes, look at your knee. Hang down a little lower if you can. Your inhalations, exhalations are gonna get you there. You're holding your breath and thinking, will not. Bend the front knee, step the feet together. Now from here, don't come up, step the other one back. Same thing, new side. You're already down, so we're just working a new leg. Again, hips are square, toes forward, back toes off on an angle, hips are square, relaxing the crown of the head down toward the toes and looking at your kneecap. I hope you guys can all hear me okay. Let me see if you can. Can you hear me okay? Let's see, ba ba ba, I don't know. Hello, Mr. Horton. Thumbs up on hearing me, everyone? Hearts and ba 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 ba, -ba. I hope so. Okay. We're still breathing, Sean is there. Yeah, there you go, Mrs. Horton, looking good. Now, step the right foot forward. Feet are just a few inches apart. Inhale, halfway up. Back is flat again, exhale down. Reverse your swan dive all the way up and back. Hands to prayer. Take a second, everybody just breathe. <sighs> Little Led Zeppelin organ music. Seems about <laughs> right. It's lovely. You know, as difficult as this practice is for a lot of people because they don't do it very often and they're tight and stiff and, you know, it's really hard to just sort of relax into it, right? There's a lot of added tension that can really get in your way, so. Do whatever you can, make it sloppy, breathe. That's all you gotta to do today. Inhale, both arms, up, both arms up, arch back, exhale, hang down. Bend the knees here if you have to, keep them straight if you can. And now, with straight legs, a lot of you, you can reach lower to the ground if you want, right? Look at those knees, push the back of the knees back, right? Pull the quads up, pull the kneecaps up, and you're hanging. Now, inhale halfway, back is flat. Exhale down, bend the knees, hands on the floor, step back to plank. Okay, so a little intensity here. Do not be afraid of it. A couple rounds of this. So right here, raise the left foot off the ground three or four inches. Keep it off the ground, chaturanga, put it on the ground, and then come up to upward dog. Good. I'm going to do a push-up here. You don't have to. There's your push-up, downward dog. Working on your downward dog, trying to do all the right things, arms straight, legs straight. Bring the shoulders over the wrists. Gonna add that intensity on the other side. Raise the new leg, just an inch off the ground. Keep it there, off the ground, chaturanga. Place it on the ground, both tops of the feet, upward dog. You can feel some heat in your shoulders and stuff, it's starting to get serious. From here, I'm gonna do my push up again. You don't have to, downward dog. Mm. Very nice, boys and girls. Here we go, we're gonna raise some legs up. Last week we did it in two parts. Today we're not going to, but I want you to think about your height. You know, there's gonna be a stop point, but then after that stop point, see if you get your leg up a few more inches higher than you normally would. That's the only thing I want, I want you to think about here. So, 
Feet are pretty close together. Float the right heel up. So that's where I would normally stop. I'm going to try to go for a little more height. Shoulders over the wrist. Bring that foot up. Turn the back foot down. So make sure that back foot is on an angle and that it's not so far back that you can't get your hips square-ish. Chest is up. Knees over ankle. So if it seems like nothing, then go lower. If it feels like a lot, then come up. Left arm reaches out. So the right knee is here. Left one's, the left arm is up. Right arm is up tall. Add the arm. Two breaths, everybody. Moment to moment. Here we go. Another one. Here we go. Inhale. Let it go, hands to prayer, hands to the ground, foot goes back, vinyasa, there's your chaturanga, upward dog, I'll be doing my push-up, you don't have to do one, downward dog, very nice, let's float that left heel up, I'm going to go for a little more height here, shoulders over the wrist, bring that foot up, turn the back foot down, adjust the feet, so you can get your hands on your hips and get your hips square to me. Good. Right arm goes forward. Try to find my depth. Left arm goes up. Add the right arm. Two breaths. I heard Shonda's first one. Second one. Go, hands to prayer, hands to the ground, foot does go back. Do your push-up, upward dog. Another push-up, downward dog. Some of you will stay right here, thank you very much. Others will take your right hand and reach behind your left knee, your left calf, or maybe all the way by your ankle. If that's, and you can look at your toes, or you can turn your head be very careful here and look at the ceiling underneath your armpit. This adds some intensity. You'll feel some new things. Good work. Release that hand. Downward dog. Switch sides. Whatever you want to grab. You can look at your toes of the leg that you're grabbing or you can intensify things and look up to the ceiling. I feel that right my left oblique. Nice, you can release that hand. Very nice, you're still in downward dog. Float that right heel into the sky. Open up the knee to the ceiling. You can stay right here or you can flip it over if you want to. This leg stays straight, that one's bent. Arch up, reach back. There was a hair on your hand. I'm still stuck there. So as you can see, my left leg is straight, my right one is bent, my hip is up. I'm looking at you, reaching toward you. That is long enough. Bring it all the way back around. Get that leg back in the air. Now bring that knee to the left elbow. It just got intense, boys and girls. And back. All the way up. Now to your forehead, right down the middle. Thoracic spine tall, arms are straight. Back up. Now, right knee, right elbow, balance if you want to. You don't have to, you can skip it. Leg goes back up. Bring it all the way through. Turn the back foot down. Get the hips square. Warrior one. Open up, warrior two. Adjust the feet. Reaching behind you. This arm is not leading forward. Look over those front hands. Front hand. You only have one hand in the front, not two. Turn the palms skyward. Relax the arms. Straighten your leg. Now you notice, like right here, how many of you feet are a little too wide apart? You it's easy to be moment to moment here, right? 
the tension's gone, I'm just standing up. Now as we go back into Warrior Two, see if you can maintain that even though there's added physical discomfort. Right? Calm in the storm. No storm. I'm gonna add storm. straight left one bent make sure the right hand is under the shoulder a lot of you did not do this and if you didn't I well, that's okay one more breath here bring it all back that leg goes back up in the air downward dog with that leg in the air left elbow I'm sorry left knee right elbow back up it goes Dogs are barking. Is that somebody at the gate? Could be. Need a forehead. Yes, it is. Leg goes back up. Left knee, left elbow. You can stay right here or go for the balance. Leg goes back up. Fan mail from some flounder. Yeah, your door is sticky. Oh, that's a bummer, I know. All right, bring that foot up between the hands. Turn the back foot down. Warrior one. <sighs> Open up, warrior two. Knee over the ankle, back leg straight, reaching behind me, looking forward. Turn the palms up, feel the change. One short breath, straighten the legs, relax the arms. Water? I'm good, mama. That is water. That is it? I think they're both water. Yeah. So again, like the other side, all the tension's gone, all the discomfort is gone, and uh, it's easy just to be here. Oh, you're going for empty slip action? So again, back to your breath. Face is relaxed. 99% of your body is relaxed here. Now as we go into Warrior Two, see if you can sustain that. Right? Oh, wow. Notice where you feel it. Use the inhalation and the exhalation to alleviate that as best you can, all right? So as I go down, all right, I feel new things. Arms go up, I feel new things. Looking forward. Warrior. Hands to prayer, hands to the ground, go through that vinyasa, buddy. Chaturanga, upward dog. Push up here, or not downward dog. All right, here, we're gonna either step or jump up to our hands. So if you're gonna jump, you wanna load the balls of your feet, bend the heck out of your knees, and you don't wanna necessarily jump forward, as much as you want to jump up. So it's a combination platter of jumping up and forward and just imagining before you get there that your feet are going to land up there near your feet. 
One, two, three. You can step up to oh. feet together. If they're not already together, toes together. Rib cage and thighs together. Arms out to the side. Pull the rib cage away from the thighs. Feel that thoracic spine. Drop the knees back. Chair pose. <clears throat> Stand up, arch back, hands to prayer. <sighs> no, I don't know why you're so hot. Don't move, I'm putting the air on too. Okay. I got you covered. Everybody else, just stand there and breathe. Inhale up, arch back, exhale, hang down. Inhale halfway, flat back. You can put your hands on your sins or maybe reach for the floor or touching the floor and then collapse all the way down, bend your knees and step back to plank. We'll be jumping back in a second, but not just yet. If you want to, you can. Chaturanga, upward dog. I'll do my push. Downward dog. Float that right heel high, 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 into the sky. Shoulders over the wrist, bring the foot up. Keep staying the ball on the back foot. Come on up, crescent pose. Straight the front leg, hands in prayer. Repeat, up, crescent pose. Again, straight the front leg, hands in prayer. Both legs are straight-ish. And then again, crescent pose. And then again, straighten the front leg, working on that balance, hands in prayer. Back to crescent pose. While in crescent pose, keep that front leg bent, bring the left foot up to the right, chair pose. <clears throat> Step the right foot back, crescent pose on that side. Straighten the front leg, hands to prayer. Stop crack, pop. crack popping over there. Back to crescent pose. That's one. And then again, straighten the front leg. Working on balance here. Both legs straightish. And then back. In crescent pose. And then here we go again. Straighten both legs, hands in prayer. Back down again, crescent pose. Bring the right leg up with the left, chair pose. Chair pose, chair pose, hang down. Inhale halfway. Exhale, hang down. Now if you're gonna jump back, if you're gonna step back, you stay in plank, right? Arms are really straight here. If you're gonna jump back, get those hands on the ground, rib cage and thighs come together. Again, it's not jumping back as much as it is jumping up. <clears throat> but for this to be semi-successful, your shoulders, the front part of your shoulders have to be out over your fingertips, which is gonna put a lot of pressure on your wrists. And if your wrists aren't used to that, then, you know, you won't be as successful, but that's fine. So I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna jump up, and back, I'm gonna start with the shoulders over the fingertips, here goes. Mrs. Horton. See, that was better cueing. <laughs> Thank you, where's that cueing been all these weeks? <laughs> Upward dog. Yeah, a lot of times people just jump back and they can't figure out what they yeah, can't that, do it. That up is key. Thank you very much. Took me eight weeks, but we got it. <laughs> all right, push you up, downward dog, everyone. Float that right heel into the sky. Bring it all the way up. Turn the back foot down. Warrior one. Warrior two. Let's 
So sometimes I have this issue. I don't know if you guys can look up right now, but you see how this knee is inside the arch? I gotta get that open more, and sometimes I'm not aware of it, so I have to look down and see. And of course you're gonna get that adductor fired up when you do that. Hands are here. La di da. Now turn the front palm up. Leave the left one where it is. Reverse warrior. Look up. And then you're reaching behind you. Now straighten the front leg. Reach further behind you. Increasing that stretch moment to moment. And now bend the front knee. Back to warrior two. Drop the forearm on the thigh. Super mellow. Let the left arm hang, you guys, down here. And what you're going to do to get this, because some people have had shoulder issues, and it's hard for them to get into this position. So what you're going to do is it helps, it's easier, if you reach back, look up, reach up. And then now the right hand is going to slip to the outside. You can stay here, this is fine, you don't have to go anywhere. Drop to the outside, and then the arm continues to travel overhead, looking at the hand. If you can palm the ground here, great. If you can't, don't. Now the hardest part about this sequence is using this front bent knee and all the power that you have in your core. Inhale first, you're gonna exhale back up into warrior two, ready? Inhale, exhale, come up. A little intensity there, nice. Here we go. Reverse warrior again. Back to warrior two. Adjust the back foot. Warrior one. That created a little sweat. Hands to prayer. Hands down. Foot goes back. Vinyasa. Upward dog. I'll do mine. You don't have to. Downward dog. <laughs> Left leg up into the air. There's my traditional stop point now. Trying to go for that Shauna height. Bring it all the way through. Turn the back foot down. Warrior one. Warrior two. Again, knee over the ankle, middle of my kneecap lined up with that second and third toe. That would be ideal. Arms are here. Reaching behind me. Nice. So we're here for a breath. Right hand stays where it is. Left arm turns skyward. Palm turns skyward. Here comes that reverse warrior. Over you go. Back leg straight and strong. This is an intense situation, so can you be moment to moment through your breath? I'm going to make it a touch easier. I'm going to ask you to straighten that front leg and then extend the stretch and look past the hand. With this extended stretch, bend the front knee. Come back to warrior two. Forearm on thigh, drop the arms down. So this is pretty chill, right? And if you've got a shoulder issue, this is how you want to get into this particular pose. You just rotate the arm back. As it goes up, you look up. You follow your hand to the sky. So we're here for a breath or two, depending on your inhalations, exhalations. From here, Right, dropping the hand to the outside, letting the arm continue to travel toward you. Your hand travels toward me. And we're looking up to that hand. Deep, deep stretch here. Back leg straight and strong. And again, as well as we can, pushing off with this leg, inhaling first, gonna exhale our way back to warrior two. Ready, big inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Good, reverse warrior again. Mm. 
Warrior two, Warrior one, and hands to prayer, hands to the floor, foot goes back, Chaturanga, Upward Dog. Push up if you like. Downward dog. So, you're gonna love this part. I know Sean is. Drop your knees to the mat. <laughs> Hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Inhale up. This little reprieve is short, so don't get too attached to it. Exhale, chin to chest, thoracic spine nice and tall. Inhale up. Toes together, separate the knees. Child's pose. Arms behind you or forward if you want to get that big stretch in your lats. Whichever you want to do. If your arms are forward, bring your thumbs together. Spread your fingers. And then use your hands to push your butt closer to your heels. All right, so you're using your, even your arms are straight, you're pushing yourself back. And then once your butt's down, then you can extend the fingers more. If your arms are behind you, they're just behind you. And the reason why I'm doing this right now is because the next little sequence is you're going to go right here from 0 to 60. So get your mind right for that. One more inhale. One more exhale. Come on up. All right, kids. Do what you can here. This is going to be a little tougher. All right? Hands just short of the front of your mat. You're in plank. So your feet are to the outer edges of your mat. Eyes looking forward. Raise your right arm forward. Try to keep your hips square. Hard. There. Put the hand down. Now raise the left leg without raising your booty into the sky. Put it down. Now gauge your core. Left arm out. Make sure the wrist is under the shoulder. Down. Now, leg up. Down. Right arm and left leg up. Bring them both down. Left arm, right leg up. Down, downward dog. This little monster is not over yet, you guys, but we'll give you a break after a second. This is a resting pose. If you need child's pose here, do it. Shoulders over the wrists. Right hand, right beneath your nose. Sidearm balance, any version you want. Stack them, stagger them, or lift the leg. Try to lift the leg. Hips up too. One more breath. Everything down. Two push ups. One, up, two, up. Hand underneath your nose, side arm balance on this side. Stagger, stack, or lift. One more breath. Everything down. Downward dog, bend the knees. You can jump or walk the feet to the hands. Remember, if you get a jump, jump up as much as forward. <laughs> Inhale halfway up. Exhale, hang down. Reverse the swan dive all the way up. March back. Hands to prayer. We have one more cycle that'll have some intensity, but probably not as bad as that was. I would say that was the most intense little sequence. Next one's about strength, but also more about flexibility. All right, so let's do that. We'll get into some core, some flexibility. Shavasana, ohms, and everybody gets to go about their business. Inhale, both those arms up. Exhale, hang down. 
Inhale halfway. Mm, flat, flat. Bend the knees again. If you're gonna jump back, it's up as much as down, and you're gonna make sure that you land in chaturanga, not in plank. So if you're jumping and you land in plank, that's a little rough on the elbows and shoulders. So your arms act as um, shock absorbers. See that? Springs, which are shock absorbers. You ready? So do your own thing. Here we go. Three, two, one. Shoulders out over the fingers. Oh. <laughs> I'm no Ted McDonald, but I'm good there. Push up, down dog. Float the right heel. High, 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 into the sky. Shoulders over the wrists. Foot between the hands. Warrior one. Warrior two. That's on the way down. I know, it's nice. So, shoulders lined up with your hips. You don't want your front shoulder out over your thigh. So, you want to reach with these hand, this hand. I'm in warrior two. I'm going to straighten the front leg. I'm going to reach forward as far as I can. Right? So, it's your pal. Triangle pose. You can place your hand on your thigh or to the inside of your leg. Fingertips on the ground, but if you're gonna do that, if you find that your torso is leaning toward the ground, that means you're thinking too much about touching the floor and not enough about what you're supposed to be doing here, which is keeping your chest open, all right? So I'm gonna try to, it feels fairly open. I'm gonna go down, legs are straight, arm goes up. Now I'm gonna look. Couple breaths, everybody. Work at getting both legs straight as you can get them. Hand on shin or on the ground. Here comes an inhale. Exhale up. Bend the knee. Warrior two. Take your five fingers. Find a nice spot there off the pinky toe, out to the side. Use that back leg to push. Place the hand, half moon, everybody. So reach back and then reach up and then look up. Dorsa flexing the back foot, keeping both legs straight as you can, looking up to that hand. And you're breathing, and that's that. Now I'm gonna let you know right here, while we're in half moon, that we're gonna float back to warrior two. So the back leg is gonna come down, you're gonna to begin to bend that front knee. Right now, three, two, one, drop it down. Warrior two. Pretty smooth. Just the back foot. Warrior one. Hands to prayer, hands to the ground. Foot goes back. Vinyasa, upward dog. Oh, I feel a whole lot better right now, I'll tell you. Down. Sean and I were both shot before we started this thing away. Holy crap. All right, here we go. Float that left heel high into the sky. Higher, higher, higher. Higher, higher. Higher. Shoulders over the wrist. Foot forward. Warrior one. Are you thinking? Are you grimacing? Are you furrowing? Are you holding your breath? Stop those things. Warrior two. Working on that inner thigh. Reaching back, looking for, boy, are you deep in that thing, Mrs. Horton. Good gracious, that's nice. Wow, I'm mildly jealous of that. <laughs> Straighten both legs. Competitive yoga. Competitive yoga. <laughs> yeah, so much for moment to moment. <laughs> Reaching forward, 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 forward. Let that hand go wherever it wants to go, inside or on the shin. Sweep the arm back and then straight up. Trying to keep your chest open to the opposing wall. Ooh. Hey, that's my thing falling over. This side is so much tighter. Gotta breathe. Mm. 
couple more breaths here, everybody. Let it open. Let it open with your breath. Let it open. One more. Bend the knee. Come back up. Warrior two. Reach out. Five fingers. Step forward. Arm sweeps back. Arm sweeps up. Eyes look up. Dorsiflex the back leg. Foot. It's so amazing how different one side is from the other and how awesome yoga is to try to get those two sides to match that symmetry and balance that, you know, great athletes have. Smart ones, anyway. So again, a couple more back breaths here, trying to work on straightening both legs. If you can't straighten the standing leg, don't sweat it. But remember, we're gonna float back to warrior two, three, two, and floating. Good. Warrior one. Hands to prayer, hands to the floor. Foot goes back. Chaturanga, upward dog. Push up or not, downward dog. Yay for us, kids. We did that thing. Bend the knees. Step or float those feet up to the hands. One last hurrah here. Toes together, ankles, knees. Drop the thighs to the rib cage, lift the toes, rhymes with nose at your pose. <clears throat> One more breath here, hands to prayer, left elbow outside of right knee. You can keep the prayer position or you can bend those knees more, try to find the ground with your fingertips, reach the arm back and then up to the sky. Sweep both arms up, chair pose. Look forward or up, hands to prayer, elbow outside of thigh. Same thing, new side. One more breath. Chair pose, stand up, arch back, and sit prayer. Nice job, sweetie, Betty. Okay, kids. Little core, gotta do it every time. Very important. So from here, we're gonna drop into chair pose and then float our booties back into boat. All right, so you know what's coming. Do the best that you can. <clears throat> chair pose. Drop the thighs, rib cage together. Have a seat. Boat. Whoa! Did you wanna do that, Sean? <laughs> boat pose. Bring these in, get your height, two, bring them in, get your height, three, bring them in, four, bring them in, number five. Bring them in. You'll see a pattern here. This is the last of this one. And six. Hold it for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Pull the knees in. Fight for scissors. Are you ready? You can do the up and reach. You can do the sit on your wrist version. I'm going to do the up and reach version. There's only six. And you'll see how they're different. One. Three. 
four. Get some height. Five. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six more. Five more. Four more. Three. Two. Number six. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Knees in. <clears throat> Everybody sit on their wrist, thumb should be touching. <laughs> Up, chin on your chest, legs are out, heels are off the ground. Here we go. Up, one, down. Up, isometrics, boys and girls, two, down. Three down, halfway home. Four up. If you need to support your head, then you can do that, you guys. And down. Two more. Number five. Toes to the sky and down. Number six, here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, higher, six. Five, four, three, two, knees in. I know these breaks are short. Ready? Here we go. Arms out to the side, not completely straight up. Slight angle. Dorsiflex the feet to the right, halfway between the top and the floor, about there. There's one. Look at the opposite hand if you want to. And up. This is the last core exercise. So. There's that. Two. Force to flex those feet. And up. And then three. And up. Four. And up. Five for ten count. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and up. Last one. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and up. Knees in. I did see a lot of comments about bonus. Like, how Tony, where's the bonuses? Bonus. Yeah, bonuses. Like, oh, I'm like so an ovation? Yeah. Encore, I mean? Yeah. Ab encore, everybody. Ab Yogi, encore. Yogi bike. Six times. Are we ready? Extend the right. Bring the left in. Right elbow. Hold. That's one. Turn. Two. Turn. Three, turn. Four, turn. And ten, two kids, breathe. Five, turn, hold for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, don't pull on your head. Two, one, switch. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and pull those in. There's your bonus. So those eight of you that were asking for bonuses, there you go, next time. Everybody else can go beat them up. Looking for those. All right, so let's do a little counter stretch of that. Put your feet on the floor, about hip distance apart. Hands on the ground, head on the ground. We're gonna roll up from our lower spine to our upper spine into bridge. Ready? So take your time. Don't just lift it. Roll it. See if you can feel that sensation. Rolling it up, up, up. And uh, first time I'm not going to class, we're just going to really work at getting the hips and the hip flexors and the lower rib cage at maximum height, everybody. Maximum height, whatever that is for you. All right, so just shoulder blades, arms, and feet on the ground. Now roll it down the way you rolled it up. Slowly, 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 so you can feel the vertebrae 
come in contact with your mat. And the last one that touches is your lowest point in your spine. All right, let's do it again. But this time you can clasp. All right, we'll add some leg stuff. Roll it up. Roll it up slowly. Feel the spine work the way it was designed to work. Up nice and high. You want to get up on the shoulder blades. You can clasp your hands underneath. Get more height. Everybody bring their feet together. Together. Knees, ankles, everything together. Okay? So just wheel that in. And now from here, keeping that height straight in the right leg. And now we're going to do four pulses up. So drop the booty. Higher one. Drop the booty. Higher two. Drop the booty. Higher three. Drop it, hold it for maximum height, bring the leg down, raise the other leg, drop down a little bit, go for some height. So you're squeezing your butt cheek every time. That's two, down, up, three, down, up, four. Hold it, leg down, separate the hands, roll down. Oh, pull the knees in. Just for Sean, she's a pigeon lover, so bring the chin into the chest, everything's together, ankles, toes, knees, and roll, roll, roll. Now when we get to this last roll, and it's coming in a couple, you're going to cross your feet and shoot your feet back. We've done this a couple times, I'll show it to you, get a little momentum, if you want to watch me first, it's up, fold the feet, jump it back, upward dog. Ooh. You like that? <laughs> Let's see you do it, man. Rock. Roll. Make sure that you, you cross those feet. Right? Cross them and then... <laughs> yeah, baby! <laughs> All right. So here we are. All right. Let's do our cat dog. Inhale, exhale. Oh, man, I thought we were done. I took out the ponytail. Oh, crap. Well, we're, really, we're done with the hard hearts. Look to the sky, find the sky, booty, rib cage, belly button down, and then other direction. And then again, up. Now you've got that little arch in the back, your eyes are forward, walk the hands closer to the front of your mat, come up under the balls of your feet, downward dog, with that arch in your back, float that right heel high into the sky, bring the right ankle to the left wrist, it's pigeon time. Pigeon time. So in pigeon, Knee has to be outside of your torso. The leg cannot be underneath you. All right, because we don't, it's too much nunching, crunching. And if you have any knee pain, let the foot that's underneath you go back further. Maybe it's not, you don't want to, you know, if you can get it underneath your chest or your rib cage, good for you. Mine, mine is, you know, at my waistline and lower, okay? So knees out. And some of you are gonna be up here because this is pretty intense already. You also wanna look behind you and see if your straight leg behind you is basically going down the center of the mat and you're on the top of your back foot, okay? So if you're up here and you're comfortable, toe cramp in the back, all right? And you want more intensity in your hip, push back because this foot is gonna stay where it is. And if you push back, everything will go back except for this foot because there's so much pressure on the mat, right? So that's it for me. And now I'm gonna go to my forearms for a second. And my breathing is the only thing that's allowing me to get here. Because if and you're really uncomfortable here and you find you're making all these goofy facial expressions and you're doing all that stuff, you have to kill it. That's not yoga at all. And some of you, this is, you know, groovy, but you can get down here. You can get all the way down. Head on the ground. Typically in a TED class or an ish class that I take here in LA, we're in pigeon for almost five minutes per side. You know, it just takes sometimes that long. You know, it's a yin yoga asana. What I just say? It's just a meditative practice where there's tension in some body parts and you're not moving uh, and there's no, there's no strength element to it. You're just letting gravity open up the joint. And the only thing that gets you through it is patience and breathing, all right? But if you do that, then your body is more durable when you do all your other workouts and it's less vulnerable when you're doing anything else in life. And that's why yoga is the fountain of youth, pure and simple. 
It's a very important, very powerful, incredible practice. And we don't always want to do it, but when we do, we're better off for it. So let's come out of that, Mrs. H. Take your time, come on up here nice and tall, and then get that leg behind you. You can go to downward dog and shake that leg out. Come on, shake that sucker out. Ooh wee, all right. Same drill, new side, left leg goes up, 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 legs are straight. Shoulders over the wrist, bring that right, that left ankle toward the right wrist. And again, you want to make whatever adjustments, right? Your, your torso's in the center. Your leg behind you is in the center-ish. All right, your dorsiflexing this foot. This knee is way outside of your torso. All right, and then if, if it's hard to just take your foot and move it forward, but to get more sensation, it's like one way to put it, you just push back, right? This foot will stay here pretty much. Sensational. Sensational. That feels like enough to me. So to start out, because this hip is tighter than my other one, I have to stay here, I have to be up tall. So the breathing is allowing this to open. That's a good song right there, man. And then now I can feel that I can go lower, so I will. Say that song, it's gonna be a drama. <laughs> oh no, can you imagine if that popped up? All right, again, it's opened up more on the top of that back foot. Down I go. Good breathing, this is one. Started at uh, 11, 10, uh, 8, 11, 11. Okay, so we're, we're about right. A couple more breaths here, everybody. Let that thing open up. I'm sweaty. Me too. Very. I've got the air on and the fans. Turn my air on. <laughs> All right, everybody, let's come out of that. Take your time, no rush here. All right, just, you wanna move slowly. You wanna come out of that thing. All right, let's make our way to Downward Dog and shake that leg out. Go, 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 go. Nice, all right. Have a seat. Mm. Let's get those hamstrings. So we're gonna do the hammies, we're gonna do a little, another little side stretch, and then we'll do Shavasana and that's it. So, golly, now this, I mean, it's black, but it's sweat, sweat from here to about here. All right, pull the right foot inside the thigh, and if some of you want to place the ankle above the kneecap, you want to do this version, that's perfectly okay, you know, but make sure you want to keep the bones away from one another, right? The ankle bone and the knee bone, you want to keep them miles apart. So find, there's not a whole lot of flesh here, but try to find some, um, so it's comfortable-ish, right? Uh, everybody else, I'll go inside here. So super tall, crown of the head high, shoulders back, arms out to the side. And we're gonna hold this for about a five count. All right, this is gonna be intense for a lot of you because you're gonna be here, your whole life's here. So you wanna be here, you're gonna bring the hands together, reaching your fingertips toward the walls, and now reaching toward the ceiling. Chest is still up, eyes are still up. Now clasp the hands, steeple, index fingers tall. And now look forward, arms back, look forward. Arms back, squeeze your head, see if you can get your biceps next to your ears. Higher, 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 and now inhale, and then exhale over that leg, and down you go. So I usually do a 10 count, five count hold. I'm not gonna do that today. So what I want you all to think about, because all that counting takes you, you know, away from your breath, and moment to moment. So while we're here in this hamstring stretch, I just want you to breathe. And while you're breathing, notice that there's some progress, that you're dropping further down, that you're feeling your hamstring and your lower back and your glutes. 
glutes open up. So I'm done talking. Just let that happen. It's a, a, a jaw, a jaw, uh, what's it called, heart? It's a, what? Mm -hmm. Meow, 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 yeah. Meow. It's not a heart. Yeah, it's this thing. Yeah, that's not a heart, though. What's it, what's it, what's it called? <laughs> heart is that big, giant. I know, I know, but I thought it was called a jaw. I mean, like, it's like a zither or something. Oh. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, that's why I was asking. Oh, I thought you were, it was a quiz. I thought you knew. All right, everybody. Please ignore our conversation. <laughs> Couple more breaths here. I know we're here for a while, but hamstrings are vulnerable and we want to get them. One more inhale, one more exhale. And come on up. Switch sides. Ugh. God, I had one as a kid too, and I knew what it was called. Ah, so you, yeah, you were half right. Jaw heart, mouth heart, Guga, Goombard. Comus, trunk, Ozark heart, Galatian heart. What one of them is jaw heart, right? Chunga. Ah! 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 I didn't realize you were saying a jaw heart, but they meant just like a heart. Oh, jaw heart, <laughs> jaw heart. Yeah, it's like a jaw heart. All right, here we go again. Tall. 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 Clasp differently this time, so do it a different way, so it feels a little weirder in your hands. And then now, looking forward, arms go back, reach tall, squeeze your head, arms as straight as you can get it. You'll notice my right arm doesn't do it. Up, 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 five, four, three, two, and down. Shauna does not even feel that, <laughs> do you? Do you feel that at all? I push my arms way back. Again, not gonna talk, just gonna breathe. Let gravity in your breath do its thing. You gotta trust it, you gotta believe it. If you fight it, you'll go nowhere. Couple more breaths, everyone. One more. And come on up. Roll onto your back. We're in the home stretch. Oh, yeah. Pull the knees in. Pull them apart. And just keep them apart. All right? No circles. Just pull them apart. You'll feel that. Elbows are bent a lot here. Rib cage and inner thighs, top of your thighs are together. Oh yeah, just. Now, do little half moons, or little quarter moons. You pull it in, bend in your elbows, and then you straighten your arms. All right, because you're not doing the inside part, which you really don't feel much there. But here, it feels like you're gonna split in two a little bit. All right, arms are straight, but I'm using leverage here with my hands below my knees. And then I'm bending my knees and I'm feeling another part of my hip sockets up high. Good, and now push them together. Straighten your left leg onto the floor. Keep your hands on your right. Pull the thigh outside of your torso. If you want to wrap the arms, you can wrap the arms around the leg. If, that's, if you don't have that flexibility, then don't do that. Just keep your hands on that leg. Good, now take the left hand, reach outside of the thigh on the IT band, right? Now, you get the hand is just below the knee on the outside of the leg. And then you're going to roll it all the way over, everybody. So I'm going to adjust here. But I want your hand to the sky. I want you to reach toward the ceiling. All right, so this knee, for most of you, is on the ground. All right? We're going to do a few of these. We're going to reach for the floor, right? Right toward the floor where you can see your hand. And now your eyes and hand are going to go back as far as they can go. Inhale, touch the floor. Exhale, a little bit more. Inhale, touch the floor. And then exhale. 
Inhale. I think this is four. Exhale. You can let go now. Inhale. That's five. We're going to do six. Exhale. Try to keep that knee on the ground. Pull, 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 pull. Yes. If you don't have a shot of that, you're going to have to do it on your own. And then exhale. I mean, inhale. And then the full Monty. Here we go. All the way over. Exhale. Push that arm down. Come on, hurt me. Oh, can't put the leg on my face. And release. Straighten that leg, pull the other knee in, and once you pull it in, pull it outside of your torso. If you can wrap, wrap it up in your arms, wrap it up tight, 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 so that your, your quad, your upper thigh is right next to the side of your body, the rib cage there, right? So really, there's like no space in there. All right, so now the right hand slips up above the knee, outside of the leg. Get your body straight and pull that knee all the way over to the ground. Make whatever adjustments you have to. I apparently have to make many. Hand is to the sky. All right, so we're going to tap the ground. Here is number one. Open it up. One. Blow it out. Oh, my God. Do you hear those pops? Inhale. Exhale, two. Your eyes follow your hand. And then inhale. And then three. Getting closer. Inhale. And then exhale. Don't cut me with those talons. Those are talons. Talon fingers. Inhale. And then exhale. Last one. Here it is. Inhale. Tap the floor. Let's see if I can get my hand on the ground. Exhale. Oh, number six. Oh. Oh. And release. Shavasana, everybody. Shavasana. Can you hit those tunes, Mrs. H? I can. That's a pretty good tune, though, to be honest. Can I hear them? Is that what she said? No, can you, uh, I don't know what I said. I don't know what I said. I can hear them. You hear Can you show them? Yeah. Oh, it's chill off. Yeah, it was chill off. All right, everybody, it is Shavasana. You're on your backs. Your heels are on the ground. Your booty's on the ground. Your arms are on the ground. Your head's on the ground. Your shoulders are on the ground. Your eyes are closed. The feet are relaxed, opening up like the pages of a book. Stop. I see time still late. And again, if there's ever a time where you can be moment to moment, it's got to be this one. It's not about, oh, I wonder how long Tony's going to do this, and i got things to do and places to go. And if you do, you're absolutely all right to get up and do those things. But if you're going to be in for the duration, I don't know how many of you are still in here, I want you to be as present as humanly possible. Forget all the chat, all the noise, all the craziness, all the news, all the stuff in the world. I just want you to breathe. Go.
Couple more, everyone. Make them big. See if you can hold your breath for just a beat or two at the top and bottom of the next couple of breaths. Keep your eyes closed, but wiggle your toes and your fingers. You can even reach overhead and go for that big stretch. Drive the heels in one direction, drive your fingertips in the other. Keep your eyes closed. You can arch your back here a little bit. Let it go. Oh, and then roll to your right side, unless you've got injuries there on your right hip or shoulder. Then roll to your left. Otherwise, you pull your knees in and hang out for just a moment. Mm. All right, everybody, come on up. Take your time. I'm going to keep my eyes closed. You can too. I'll walk you through it here with my voice. So you're in a cross-legged seated position. You can pull your heels in closer toward your body, or you can push them further away. It's only a matter of inches, really. Whatever feels comfortable. If you have a yoga block, and this is uncomfortable, then sit on that yoga block. But my eyes are still closed. I don't know about yours. So your hands can be in three places, in prayer, or in your lap, or in um, lotus. I'm going to go lotus today, as always, usually, typically. We're going to do our ohms. Our long, ohms are long and loud. There's no singing and there's no screaming. You're just going to open up, commit to the process. If you've gotten this far, why stifle yourself now? No reason to. So you start with a hum. As the voice comes out, everything comes from the diaphragm and your mouth <laughs> opens up. It's pretty wide, but not forced. I hope I'm not over -cueing this thing, but I just want everybody to take advantage of it because too often I'll go to a military base sometimes and People don't even do it or just, mm, I'm out, you know, so go for it because it's a great meditation. Let's do just one, as long as you can. Inhale big, let's do it. Let it go. Mm. Each and every one of you that participated with Sean and I this morning, thank you so very, 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 very much. Mrs. Horton, a good looking, wonderful wife you are. Look at you, how mellow you look right now. You did it though, you fought, fought it. So, a little moment to moment sloppy yoga. I mean, it wasn't sloppy, sloppy, but if you wanted it to be, it could have been. So, let me see thumbs up and hearts if you feel mildly different and or better than you did before we started. Oh. And if you feel worse, then put up some other emoji. I don't know what that will look like, uh, everybody, but yeah. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Namaste to Mr. and Mrs. Horton and everyone else. Appreciate that. Matt, thank you. Graham. Um, P-B-K-A-R-N. Pekran. I've... I'm sorry. <laughs> Brittany, Randy, uh, Chrissa, Scott. Hi, Hortons, all the way from Serbia. That is so cool. Just want, oh, I wish I could read the rest of it. I will want to go upstairs. Serbia, man. Oh, my God, you're going to make me cry. That's just amazing that we have. Think about that, man. How many times can you connect with people in Serbia? 
you know, in 1980. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Like, think of that. Think what the what this has brought to people in Italy and in France and in Serbia and all around the world, man. It's really a neat thing. And I'm, I'm just really glad to do it. I know Mrs. H is too. It, it means a lot to us. You know what I mean? Because too often, Katie Swenson. Ba, 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 ba. So, say hi to your cuz, Katie Swenson. Katie, hi, cuz. I'll be right back. She's coming back, Katie. Uh, Sup, Tony, my girl, been too at doing quarantine. Thank you so much. Angela, love this. Thank you for highlighting it. Oh, the highlight of your day. Well, it certainly was ours too. Corey, how are you, Corey? Nice job. Oh, well, I didn't see that question. Sorry, you have to ask me again. Jeffrey, nice. Graham, thank you. Samantha, Scott, Pfeiffer, everybody. Well, Scott, did you do your own scissors? Were you just watching Scotty Pfeiffer or did you do, look at the hearts come up when your name comes up. You know, I met Scott Pfeiffer many, many years ago. He's a total stranger on a beach. Bobby Stevenson, and there are dogs coming. There are small, waggy-tailed animals here. Yeah, it's what we do. Uh, yeah, Scotty, Scotty, everybody. Um, Scotty, while you're there, if you can, will you put up the link or the, or the uh, or people want to go give folks a few dollars to go campaign? As many of you already know, you know, Scott Pfeiffer's helping children from Tennessee to Tanzania all around the world. He's done a lot of work for homeless kids in, in the city of Los Angeles. Um, and, uh, and unfortunately, you know, Scott's traveling all over the world. He's traveling all over the country. He's, you know, having these events, trying to raise money, and we, nobody can get together. So the only way that Scott can help children from around the world is through you guys. And, and what if it's like $4? Who cares? You know, I mean, $4 adds up. So I think Scott will put up that link here eventually. Uh, I think it's gocampaign.org. I'm going to just say it. Uh, Teddy heard, heard my name and came running. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. Ted, come here, Ted. Say hi to Scott. Come here, Ted, the friend. Oh, he's a beautiful boy. He just got washed. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. The washed boy. <laughs> rah, rah. Salty. This could be you, Scott. This could be you. But it's not. It's me. Rah, rah. Get the ear. Get behind the ear. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There it is, www.gocampaign.org, Scotty Pfeiffer. Help the boy out, boys and girls, because it's really, really hard a lot for so many different charities right now, man. I mean, you know, people are in some financial straits. Um, look at that, Scott. I think that name, what is that name? I think, I think that could be um, Russian or it could be uh, Ukrainian. I'm not quite sure. Scott Pfeiffer, I'm jealous. I know you are. So Scott comes to the house, right, you guys? Scott and I work out together often. We go on our little run here, which you can't do anymore now either. And, and he just, you know, Scott's shaved his head. So uh, he, he lays down all three dogs. And he just basically from his neck up to the back of his head. I almost took out Lola. Hi, Loli Schmoles. This is for the Clark girls. They think Lola doesn't get enough airtime. Oh, Lola. <laughs> Lola. She's I don't know if we're doing yoga, but. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Kim. You guys. Who's this? Is this Charles Bear? Come here, Charles Bear. Come here, buddy. Come here, I got this thing. Come here. Come here. Oh, he's so wrapped up in that. Um, well, we did it. We had a dance party that was really fun yesterday, and we did our plyo on Wednesday, and it's already Saturday, and it's just, I don't know, I was talking to Shauna. It feels like with this whole quarantine that life should go like a snail, you know, but it feels like it's Friday already. Friday, Friday already. already, Friday, Friday already. already, Saturday already, Wednesday already. It just seems like it's going faster. I don't, I don't know what that means, or I don't know what the science is behind that. But um, anyway, Charlie, you want to say hi to the people? Oh, he likes his toys. Come here, come here, Charles Bear. Come here, buddy boy. Come here, come here, come here. Yeah, yeah, come here. I got this guy. Come here, you. I want you to say hello to the people. Look at this boy. He's all over the place. All right, he's biting his fingers. Who's here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. mildly relaxed. Look at that. Yeah. Cause look at this dog. This animal thinks that that woman birthed her. I mean, there's no doubt about it. I mean, you know, dog. The dog gives me some time of day, but for the most part, it's all about Shauna. All right, it's a doggy battle here. Well, everyone, again, thank you so very, very much. It's super califragilistic XBL of yay, and uh, I certainly feel better. And um, it means a lot to us, like I said. And uh, 
We hope to see you for the next one, which will be plyometrics on another Wednesday. I know more and more of you are given the opportunity to get outside and things are changing. You know what I mean? But if, you, if you're watching, you know, watching the news, the, the curve is doing this again because, you know, people aren't wearing masks and they're getting close together. And, and um, you know, I've got a friend who lost three people. I mean, they, they passed away. So this thing is, uh, will, will take you down. So, you know, play it smart, do the right thing, wash the crap out of your hands. And, um, you know what I mean? There's a lot of conspiracy theories about some silliness out there. Be careful, make sure you do your research. Uh, we just don't want anybody to get sick. So uh, that's it, that's really important. Um, from France, is that from France or is that your last name, De France? Alexander De France. Uh, Scotty, Pfeiffer, thank you. Glenn, Graham, everyone, Angie again. Always love seeing you in here, and uh, I guess I guess we're done. And Lola, I, just, I just saw John's in here, so we're wishing you speedy recovery, John. Yeah, John, hip surgery, that's serious stuff. I heard your voice in my head several times, take it out of your face. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Kim. Good to see you in here, Kim, awesome. Larissa, I wanna know what language that is. I wish I knew what that was. Scotty Pfeiffer. Czech or something? Could be Czech, could be Czech. Um, Anyway, thank you again, everyone, from me and Mrs. Horton. And Lola. And the Schmoly. <laughs> the Schmoles. Dan, good to see you. Justin, rock on all. Bye -bye. See you next time.